Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you HJ, welcome to my channel. And today I'm going to be testing my Ravenclaw knowledge. I say testing my Ravenclaw knowledge, it's testing my wisdom. Um, I got inspired to do this video by Movie Flames. If you've not followed him on YouTube, you should. He does really cool in-depth videos about Harry Potter characters. Um, he also goes into Marvel. I think he does Avatar The Last Airbender as well. And he decided to test his knowledge with the Harry Potter quizzes on the Wizarding World website. And I thought that'd be kind of cool because recently I've been doing the ones for the houses, like to gain points to win. And I've gotten full marks in all the ones that have come out so far. And everyone in my Ravenclaw chat on Instagram is like, how do you remember all this stuff? How do you know? And I do watch a lot of Movie Flames and I do watch a lot of Super Carlin Brothers. They're also really cool. They do like Harry Potter quizzes and battle against each other, see who remembers what. They're very smart on all this stuff as well. And they remember things that I'm like, I don't remember that. And I haven't read, read the books for a while now. And I don't watch the films consistently all the time, only if I'm in the mood. And I always think, how do I remember this? So I've actually got it up here. And this is going to be a testing for my editing skills as well because I'm going to have to put it on the screen somewhere so you can see it. And I'm going to go through these and select one that I'd like to do and see how much I remember. So if you want to stick around and see me either win or fail, please do remember to like, subscribe. Let's go. There are a lot of quizzes on here. What one do I want to do? Ooh, the Halloween mega quiz. We all know I love Halloween, but I don't know how much I remember about Hogwarts at Halloween. I honestly... Do I do it and embarrass myself? Level. two. It's got two star levels, so does that mean it's medium hard questions? 20 questions. I'm going to be like, if I get these wrong, I'm going to be so embarrassed. I'll be like, how was I putting Ravenclaw? Honestly. Okay, start quiz. Complete the quote from Harry's first Halloween feast. Troll in the dungeons! I thought you were to know. Professor Snape was the person who let the troll false. That was Quirrell. In Chamber of Secrets, what was Dumbledore rumoured to have booked? Um, the, no, it wasn't the Weird Sisters, was it? Is it? Yeah, Dancing Skeletons. Uh, who tried to get past Fluffy on Halloween? Snape did. Oh no, Quirrell. I've already got one wrong. Damn it. Who said this? Well, the Hall well this Halloween will be the... Near the doesn't it? Is he trying to read these and try and do them? It's like... Puff. On Halloween in Foster Stone, what spell did Harry and his classmates learn in charms? When Guardian Liviosa. It's Liviosa. When Harry left Nearly Headless the next death day party, what message did he find on the wall? The other says in return, Muggle Burns, we won't welcome. Chamber 6 is the only name is everywhere. Yes, because... Yes, because... Not the same as in the film. Miss Norris was petrified by a basilisk on Halloween. Well, true then. Yeah, true, because he found her with the message. So I was like, ah. In which book does Sirius Black's Hall Halloween Hogwarts break-in occur? What? In which book did Sirius Black's Halloween... Oh, Prisoner of Azkaban. That was a really, weird, really weird request. A really weird question. Fleur Delacour was first champion to be announced on... Yes? Oh, no, she wasn't. I thought I was. I'm trying to remember the order. What was the name of the member of Nearly Headson that spoke to Harry? Oh, I don't have a blooming clue. I want to say it's Podmore. Yes, because I remember the last name, Podmore. I was like, I know it for something. What happened after Harry, Ron and Hermione defeated the troll in the girls' toilets? McGonagall deducted points off them. Which Hogwarts ghost reenacted their death? Bloody Barron? No, Nearly Headson. Because... Uh, in which chapter did the Hogwarts students have to spend a Halloween night sleeping in the Great Hall? Fight of flight. <laughs> Bloody hell. Sears Black's vandalism of the picture sir, vandalized the picture of Sir Duggan. No. It was the fat lady. What lively animals fly around the Great Hall? Oh god. Bats? Yes. Because it could have been ravens. They could be. What charge champion you announced on Halloween night? Who said this? Did you put your name in the goblet of <laughs> Dumbledore? Did you put... He said calmly. In Chamber of Secrets, the pumpkins that Hagrid had grown for Halloween were described as being as big as what? Boulders? Big as Hagrid himself. That's a bad answer. Which Hogwarts ghost did Harry meet for the first time? Yes. 
Yes, I was a guess. I thought it was Morning Myrtle. Who said this after Miss Norris was found petrified? It was definitely a curse that killed her. Probably the transformative torture. I see. That sounds like something Lockhart would say because it sounds so Lockharty. Right, so I only got four wrong, which isn't bad. I mean, it's not perfect, as, as a reason cause should get. But some of these as well, like I forgot to say that I think some of these will trick people because if you haven't read the books for a while, like I have, but I know there's differences from the film to the book. Um, so that would get people being like, oh, I can't remember, is it based on, is this quiz based on the film or the books? So it's like, you have to remember your book knowledge, which I don't think is bad. And Ravenclaw, we're actually doing good in that one. They got 13... 0.34 out of 20 which is like I think this is the average amount of questions they get correct so I think the average amount for it, it, like Ravenclaw is almost like 13 out of 20 was the average for them and then it was Gryffindor then it was Hufflepuff and then it was Slytherin which I'm not mad at I mean I've only got four wrong which isn't too bad so let's go back and have another go at something let's see like, I, I was surprised I remembered 16, to be honest, because Halloween is my favourite holiday, as we all know. So it's like, if I don't remember anything, who said it? Oh, not Raven. Who said it, Raven? Should we do this because I'm a Ravenclaw? Who said it, Ravenclaw edition? Because there's so many Ravenclaws I don't remember. I think it's one Teddy Boot or something. I, there's there's a few that I don't know because they're not in the films. Well, they are, but they're not shown as, like, main characters. But should we see... Oh, me, oh, two stars, medium cut. Who said it, Ravenclaw edition? Who said it? From Bill or Lockhart, so my god, good to see. It's only 10 questions. Which is half of 20, which is really bad. What? I'm just stalling because I'm like, I'm scared. Okay, one, two. I've been able to see them ever since my first day here. They always pull the card, just don't worry. You're just as sane as I am, Luna. I know it's not quite as good as winning. We oh. Gilderoy. I don't even need to finish the quote, I know. That Umbridge woman's foul putting you in detention just because you told the truth about how, how he died. That's Cho Chang. Because she never said Cedric's name properly after that. Indeed, I don't remember ever meeting a student whose mind was so hopelessly mundane. Is that Trelawney? She was like, in the book she was horrible. Are you going to ask me to dance at all? That sounds like Padma Patel, because obviously the Patel twins were in different houses in the books. Now, Professor Dumbledore has granted me permission to start this little dueling club. Train you all up. That's Lockhart. I enjoy the meetings too. It was like having friends. Oh, that's Luna. See, I feel that quote. I love her. Hogwarts should be Dumbledore's final resting place. What do I feel like? Oh, no. Flitwick? Yes! <laughs> I had no idea he was flattering he seemed to to understand to sympathize the great lady yeah because she's talking about uh, tom riddle expelliarmus i mean expelliarmus oh sorry Mar marietta Cho? yeah because that was her friend Jenner, it's a, yes. see i thought there's gonna be a lot more now that i did not know so i'm quite happy with that one. Oh, but oh, Ravenclaw second in their own quiz. What? First is Gryffindor, then Raven Ravenclaw. Come on, Ravenclaw, how do we not know our own quotes? To her, like I said, like me being like at the start going, I don't want to click on this because I'm too scared. And then Hufflepuff and then Slytherin. Wow. Whoa, okay. Okay. That's weird. Dark Ravenclaw. Filch, what happened next? What's the journey to Hogwarts, true about so many prefect quiz. The prefect quiz I would not get right. I always say this openly, if I was at Hogwarts, I would never be a prefect. I never want to be a prefect in Muggle school. I would not want to be a prefect or head girl or something in Hogwarts. It would be ten times worse. I I feel like. Uh Grimmel Place quiz, Harry Potter's mega burp. Oh no, 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 no. True false Diagon Alley. Hogwarts Grimms. Who said it, Marauders edition? Um, kind of want to do it, but kind of don't. Sorting hat. Whose Patronus is that quiz? Let's see if we can do this one. 
10 questions. Casting Patronus is very advanced magic, as you know. But you also know what form the Patronus charm took for each of these Harry Potter characters. Like, there's only 10 questions, so there's 10 different characters that we can get. Which I'm fine with. I'm okay with knowing whose Patronus is whose, I think. There's probably a few I can't remember. But let's see. Whose Patronus was a stag? That's Mr. Harry Potter. Whose Patronus was a phoenix? Dumbledore? Don't know why I came out like that. Whose Patronus was a swan? I think that was Cho. Yes. Whose Patronus was a fox? Dean? Oh, Seamus! <laughs> I thought it was Dean. Whose Patronus was an otter? That is Hermione. Whose Patronus was a weasel? Arthur? Yes. Because I knew it wasn't Ron's, I knew it wasn't Tom's. Whose Patronus was a hare? Luna. Whose Patronus was a lynx? That's Kingsley. Whose Patronus was a goat? That's Ab Aberforth. Aberforth? Aberforth. I can't say his name right. Whose Patronus was a terrier dog? Ron. So when I missed, I didn't, I thought the fox was between Dean and Seamus, but I didn't think somehow a fox fit Seamus. It seemed more like a Dean Patronus. I know that's probably weird to say. I just didn't think Seamus would have a fox. I don't know why. But I got 9 out of 10, which isn't too bad. I feel, I think I've, I've not done too bad so far. Um, yeah, I'm proud of that. Ravenclaw's came first again, then Gryffindor, then have Slytherin. Southern always seem to be fourth. I don't mean that in a horrible way, but some Southerns are quite intelligent. No. So, my Patronus is a Basset Hound. Let me know yours in the comments. Although when I had to join this club and I got resorted again, which was into Ravenclaw, if it was anything else, I still become myself Ravenclaw because I've been Ravenclaw for years. They switched my Patronus to some sort of bird, um, but I will always go with Basset Hound because that was the first one I ever got. And it's the same as Eddie Redmayne's. Which is kind of why I also want to keep it. Because I love Newt Scamander. Uh, which Weasley said what? Oh, no, no, no. Are you ready? Quiz, are you ready for Hogwarts? Like, I still haven't played Hogwarts Legacy, guys. I keep watching gameplays on YouTube. Because I want to feel emerged in it. I will get it and play it on here eventually. At some point. But not right now. I don't feel... The Quibbler quiz... Do we do the Quibbler quiz just because it's Luna? And then I'll fail miserably. We imagine the Quibbler's January issue should be would be full of superstitious wonderment and any prediction for the year, but can you predict what question will be in this quiz? All about your favourite alternate magic at War magazine. Ten questions. I don't know if I know enough, but we'll, we'll, we'll give it a go. I don't care. Here we go. Who gave Mr Weasley a copy of the Quibbler to pass on to Sirius? Lupin? Oh, Kingsley. I was going to click Kingsley and I didn't. What was the name of the band Sears was supposedly the lead singer of, according to the Quibbler story? See, I don't know enough about these. Yeah, no, I'm actually going to fail this. So I am cheating and I'm coming out of it because I I thought I, I don't know enough about the Quibbler. I thought I did. I don't. So technically I am backing out. But it did, like, so. Requirement. Is that a photoshopped photo of Mads there? Because I don't think Get Alert War was in it, was in that. Or that's a deleted scene. Do we do the Get Alert Grindelwald quiz just because I like him? <laughs> do we do that? I'm not going to start that debate in the comments. Well, let's see. Before there's old Voldemort, there was Get Alert Grindelwald. But exactly how much do you know about this equally infamous, equally scary dark wizard? There's only 10 questions. I think I know a fair bit. I said that about the Quibble, but I think I know a fair bit about Grindelwald. Because I loved his relationship with Dumbledore. So I know a bit, I think. Let's go. Who did he steal the elder one from? Grig Grig Grigorovich. When did Grindelwald first come across the phrase for the greater good, which would later use as his motto? Dumbledore. Because Dumbledore used it first. Who is, he, that's his, his aunt? His great aunt. I was close. <laughs> what was Percival for Graves' official job type when Grindelwald used his identity? He, he, is, he head, is he the head of magical law enforcement? Yeah. 
Whereabouts in Paris did Grindelwald's rally take? Oh God. Um, this is going to be a guess. The, 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 can't remember that. We couldn't remember the name. I can't remember French name. What position was Grindelwald trying to take on when he took part in the walk of the? Um, Chief. No, ah, I got. Uh, no, I got confused. Why was Dumbledore originally unable to fight directly? Because. Blood pucked when they were teenagers. If this job pajama took place in what, 1945? Knew that one. In Secrets of Dumbledore, what was the mission Grindelwald set for Credence Fairbone? Yeah, the the because it was it was a little bit of all of them. Which of these is not a direct oh god. Hurry to praise above, we cease control of the great good, we will die. How long will it take? Oh, damn it, that one. That's not bad, I only got four wrong. I don't think, I think if I got less than five, I would be annoyed with myself. Anything above five, I'm quite proud of. Like, I'm not really a Ravenclaw where I'm like, I have to get full full marks. If I get more than half, I'm quite happy. So I got more than half. See, I, I can't remember, I never remember, I always call Bethel the Bagshot his aunt. I always forget he's, she's his great aunt. I, I, and I could not remember any where that thing took place part of like i did took french and i should remember it because i've seen fantastic piece a fair few times could not remember for the life of me can't remember the other ones i got wrong i'll look this back and go <laughs> but again so, oh no slytherin came second in this one well done they know about Gal grindelwald they know they're dark wizards um then ravenclaw was first then gryffindor was third then hufflepuff okay we do one more we'll do a couple more Let's scroll, have a scroll down here. Uh, do, 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 do. How well do you know the set? Not, not very well. The night bus. Do I do the night bus quiz? I'm scared because I love the night bus. It's one of my favourite things. But I don't know if I know a lot about it to do the quiz. So I might just... Do, do, do. Dobby, Dobby, Nash, your magic. How well do you know the third book? Do I do that because the third book is my favourite? Do I do that? How many questions are there? Seven! There's only seven! It was an incantation that was Spanish. Ridiculous. But when the annual Daily Prophet Grand Prize Gala Angel, where did the Weasleys go? Egypt! When Snape stood in for Lupin, what page the other? 394. What's the name of the executioner that was supposed to execute Buckbeak? Oh! McNair. I was going to put Dollhoff and I was like, no, it's not, it's McNair. What marked the entrance to the secret passage that went from Hogwarts to Statue of the One-Eyed Witch? Lead you straight to Honeydew Cellar. When Dumbledore and Snape pulled a cracker at dinner, what was inside it? Yeah, because it was happened after the the class. What colour bottle did Scabbers wrap tonic come in? Red. That was a guess. Seven out of seven. Oh, we're back to normal now. Ravenclaw is first, and then Gryffindor, then Hufflepuff, then Slytherin. Hee hee dee 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 dee. See, because I'm recording this, I didn't think my back button would work, and I've been scrolling down the back button works. Uh, Dumb of the Creatures, Dumb the Halloween one, Sears Black. Oh, I love seeing all these. Like, all these are, like, look so cool, but I'd just be like, I'm not sure how much I know about each to really know. Right. Well, should we do the Ramus Lupin one to finish, since he's my favourite character? Ten questions, okay? Whew. Here we go. Who would help after getting, what would help after getting, chocolate frog? I, I could not read that question for some strange reason. 
Which of these is a useful little spell that can help with peeves? Waddy Wussy. Shoot the gamut of things. Which is always best to have when faces what is always best to have when facing a bogger? Company. Which creature was in the corner of Lupin's office fresh from how you visited? Uh Gringula. Remembering it from the film. What does a hinky punk lure travellers into? Bogs? Yeah. Then I thought it was gonna be forest, but it wasn't. Where do red caps lurk? Oh, the potions and druid in dark places. Dark places? Bloodshed. Damn. What does a kappa resemble? Oh jeez. I don't know. Dog? Monkey. What was a Dementor's last and worst weapon? The kiss. What did James Potter call his friend's werewolf affliction? His very little problem. Complete the last word spoken. Harry is the best hope we have. Trust him. See, that, um, no, uh, the, like, I get they were doing it because that was the stuff he taught them in their third year when he was Defence Against the Dark Arts teacher, but that was not a lot about Lupin. I thought we were going to get, what's his middle name? Who did he marry? What house was he in? Um, other little things like that. Um, like, how old was he when Frenier Greyback bit him? So that threw me a little bit for a loop. I still got eight out of ten, which is pretty good. It says here Hermione would be proud, so I'm going to take that as it is. And I think I will end the video there. I will calculate here how many I got right out of how many questions I answered and how many questions I did. Um and why don't you guys try this? I think it'd be kind of cool. Like literally there's so many quizzes on here and they're so fun. And even if you don't get them right at least you will learn and hopefully remember if someone or someone something somewhere you're at harry potter question you're like i got it wrong on the thing but i remember it's this it's kind of cool just to also just pass time if, if you're wanting something to test your brain this is it especially if you're a ravenclaw we like like to have our minds going um but no that's it guys um if you have done these quizzes before let me know how you do in the comments even if you do the ones that i've done here let me know how you get on and see if you can beat me some of you probably will and thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye!